Welcome to this chapter on drug classification. In this chapter, we'll look at how drugs are classified by the medical profession. This chapter will introduce a, way, a number of ways in which drugs are classified. Unfortunately, there is no single system that exists, so it can get a little bit complicated. But all I'll say at this stage is all you really need to have is a high level of appreciation only. In this session, we will cover drug nomenclature, classification of therapeutic substances, the ATC drug classification system, and the BNF classification system. Medicines are normally marketed under their brand names. This is the name or brand given to the medicine by the pharmaceutical company selling the product. For example, Beconase or Nurofen. However, the formal or generic name must be applied to their active ingredient. This has to be clearly seen on the pack. In the case of these two products, the generic name of the products are beclomethazone dipropanate and ibuprofen, respectively. If a doctor prescribes a product by its brand name, then the pharmacist needs to give the patient the brand specified. However, if the doctor prescribes a product by its generic name, then the pharmacist can choose from, often, a range of, usually cheaper, generic versions of the medicine. The active ingredient must be described to the regulatory authorities using one of three systems of drug nomenclature. Historically, these are referred to as the international non-proprietary names, the British approved names, which are now synonymous with the international non-proprietary names, and the United States adopted name, which is also coordinated by the international non-priority names. The source of the INN is the World Health Organization, who regularly update the list. The INN is becoming the most commonly used system. Drugs can be classified by a number of methods. These include their chemical structure. For example, are they penicillins? Are they steroids? Are they um, macrolides? Are they peptides? They can also be classified by their pharmacological action. For example, are they diuretics? Are they hormones? Are they analgesics? Or they can be classified by a combination of the target organ, organ system that they target and their chemical, pharmacological and therapeutic properties. They can also be classified according to their harmfulness. And in the UK, a controlled drug system is used with classifications of A, B and C. For example, class A drugs would include cocaine and heroin. Class B drugs would include amphetamines and barbiturates. And class C drugs would include anabolic steroids and cannabis. Some drugs are also classified as control drugs. And this allows, under, circumstance, under certain circumstances, for them to be legally administered. For example, recovering drug addicts or extreme pain relief. Control drugs have their own system of classification in the UK, from Schedule 1 to Schedule 5. Examples include Schedule 1, Cannabis, Schedule 2, Dimorphine, and Schedule 3, Barbiturates. Schedule 1 control drugs are the most controlled, as they have the greater potential for abuse. The anatomical, therapeutic, chemical, or ATC classification system, together with defined daily dose, DDD, in short, ATC, DDD, is an international system that is used to monitor the worldwide use of medicines. The system provides a global standard for classifying all medicines, medicinal substances and serves as a tool for drug utilisation research. Drugs are classified into different groups according to the organ or system 
on which they act and their therapeutic and chemical characteristics. In the system, drugs are classified into groups at five different levels. The first level, in the first level, a code is given based on the letter for the anatomical group where the drug works. There are 50 main groups with one alphabetical character assigned. The 15 groups of drugs form, forming the first letter are now shown. Other levels are more complicated to explain, but it depends on the type of drug and how it acts. So we've already looked at level one, which is the anatomical group, and that will allow one letter to be assigned to the code. The second level is the therapeutic main group, and that gives us two number characters. The third level is the therapeutic pharmacological subgroup, and here another in single letter is assigned. The fourth level is the chemical therapeutic pharmacological subgroup and here another single letter is applied. And the final level, the fifth level, is the subgroup for chemical structure and here two numeric characters are assigned. Some drugs have multiple uses and so they may have a number of different codes. However, this system, although complicated, produces a system where each drug has its own code that, and that, that can therefore be tracked worldwide. An example of how the oral diabetic drug metformin is coded can now be seen. This therefore gives the product a code A, 10 BA02 in the ATC system, a unique code for that particular product. Finally, the BNF, the British National Formulatory, has its own well-established system for drug classification. Here, drugs are quite simply classified into one of 15 groups, depending on the area of the body where the drug functions. And the 15 groups can now be seen on the screen.